Welcome sa course natin. Uh, so, ito ulit tayo. So, part 4 na ng sample problems natin dun sa topic natin na sequence or progression. So, find the 20th term of the harmonic progression. 1 half, 1 fifth, and 1 eighth. So, harmonic progression, ito sequence natin. So, 1 half, 1 fifth, and 1 eighth. Sabi natin, pag harmonic progression, ang reciprocal nun, naka-arithmetic progression. So, therefore, yung arithmetic progression natin or arithmetic sequence natin, 2, 5, and 8. So, dahil first term is 2, second term is 5, third term is 8. So, therefore, common difference ay 3. So, formula natin para dun sa arithmetic progression. So, a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. So, pwede nating makuha yung 20th term sa, sa harmonic progression gamit yung 20th term ng arithmetic progression. Kulin lang natin yung reciprocal nun. So, therefore, so a sub 20, so 2 plus 20 minus 1 times 3. So, therefore, 20th term natin ng uh, arithmetic progression is 59. So, therefore, the 20th term ng harmonic progression is yung reciprocal ng 20th term ng arithmetic progression. So, therefore, 1 over 59 yung sagot natin. Next problem, the third term of a harmonic progression is 15 and the ninth term is 6. Find the 11th term. So, harmonic progression, a sub 3 is equal to 15, a sub 9 is equal to 6, and then hanapin natin yung 11th term. So, sabi nga kanina, so arithmetic progression. So, reciprocal ng harmonic progression, naka-arithmetic progression. So, third term sa arithmetic progression, yung reciprocal dun sa harmonic progression. So, 1 over 15. Ninth term is 1 over 6. Hanapin natin yung 11th term. Kasi reciprocal natin para makuha natin yung... Uh, 11 term dun sa harmonic progression. So, formula natin. So, 11 term. Kaya lang wala tayong first term, pati yung common difference. So, gamitin natin yung given. So, third term, tapos yung sa ninth term. Tapos, equate na lang natin sila. Yung a sub 1. Uh, tapos, uh, yung ginawa ko, sinubtract ko na lang. No? Subtract. Yung first equation na to, yung a sub 1 is equal to a sub 3 minus 3 minus 1 times d. Tsaka yung a sub 1 is equal to a sub 9 minus 9 minus 1 times d. Kaya a sub 3 minus a sub 9 minus 3 minus 1 times d plus 9 minus 1 times d is equal to 0. Kaya 1 15. So simplify ko pa, no? 1 over 6 minus 1 15. Uh, times 1 over 6. Kung baga, dinivide ko yung ano, yung 8 minus 2. So, therefore, common difference natin is 1 over 60. Then, pwede natin gamitin dito. So, 1 over 15 uh, minus 3 minus 1 times 1 over 60. So, therefore, yung first term natin sa arithmetic progression is 1 over 30. So, pwede natin i-compute gamit yung formula para dun sa 11 term ng arithmetic progression. So, 1 over 30, first term, plus 11 minus 1 times 1 over 60. So therefore, 11 term ng arithmetic progression is 1 fifth. So, therefore, the 11th term of the harmonic progression is 5. Next problem. The geometric mean and the arithmetic mean of two numbers are 8 and 17 respectively. Find the harmonic mean. So, given natin, geometric mean is 8, arithmetic mean is 17. Yung harmonic mean, ito yung formula natin doon. Ang sabi dito, para siyang, para siyang ano, reciprocal dual dun sa arithmetic mean. Kung makapansin nyo, di ba, kung i-reciprocal nyo yung uh, ito, ang medyo kamukha siya dun sa arithmetic mean. Sa arithmetic mean kasi, di ba, yung, uh, yung mga terms natin, kumbaga yung average ng mga terms. Ito naman, average ng mga terms, pero ni-reciprocal pa. 
So, yun yung formula natin for harmonic mean. Kapag two numbers, so, dinop natin na para kumakumpit natin kung ano yung formula para kapag two numbers. So, let x and y be the two numbers. So, harmonic mean. So, dahil nga two numbers, number of terms n is 2. Tapos yung x and y yung two numbers, harmonic uh, sequence. So, 1 over x plus 1 over y is equal to 2xy over uh, y plus x or xy over y plus x over 2. At yung arithmetic mean, kung naalala pa, di ba nga, kung mayroon kang two numbers, tapos divide natin sa number of terms, which is 2. So, yun yung arithmetic mean. Tapos yung geometric mean naman, dahil two numbers ka, so square root ng product ng dalawang term na yun. Or pwedeng yung square ng geometric mean equal sa product ng dalawang number na yun or equal sa xy. So, pwedeng ilagay natin yung term natin for arithmetic mean, pati yung geometric mean, dun sa formula ng harmonic mean. So, therefore, harmonic mean is equal to gm squared over am or geometric mean or square ng geometric mean over arithmetic mean. So therefore, 8 squared yung geometric mean over 17 yung arithmetic mean. So, equal sa 3 point or 64 over 17 or 3.764708823529411. And so on. Next, it took certain vehicle 3 hours to travel 120 kilometers. On its way back, it took him only 2 hours to travel the same path. What was his average speed? So, pwede natin gamitin uh, yung harmonic mean sa pagkakumpit ng average speed. So, dahil ba average speed is equal to total distance traveled over total time for travel. Tapos dito sa problem natin, uh, tulad yung distance niya dahil uh, nag-travel ka ng 120 uh, kilometers, tapos bumalik ka ulit. So, 120 kilometers ulit yon So, ibig sabihin yung total distance travel natin is 2 times distance over total time for travel. So, in total time natin, pwedeng uh, distance over speed. Dwayne speed is equal to distance over time, so therefore, time of travel is equal to distance over speed. So, yung speed natin papunta, denote siya, denoted siya as S sub 1. Yung speed pabalik, denoted siya as S sub 2. So, yung time it took dun sa una is 3 hours, pabalik is 2 hours. Pag sinimplify natin to. So, average speed is equal to 2 kapag dalawang term ka lang. 2 over 1 over S1 plus 1 over S2 or harmonic mean. No? Harmonic mean. So, dahil dalawang term, so 2 over 1 over S1 plus 1 over S2. S2. So, yung speed natin papunta is 120 distance over time. So, 120 kilometers over 3 hours. So, equal sa 40 kilometers per hour. So, S sub 2 distance over T sub 2 is equal to 120 kilometers over 2 hours. So, pabalik 60 kilometers per hour. So, substitute natin sa equation 2 over 1 over 40 plus 1 over 60. So, therefore, average speed is 48 kilometers per hour. So, applicable. So, application tayo ng harmonic mean sa average speed. So next pa, a race is scheduled for 4 laps. The velocities of a car for these laps are 60 km per hour, 56 km per hour, 52 km per hour, and 63 km per hour consecutively. Uh, find, it, find its average velocity for the whole race. So first, so first is 60, second 56, third lap 50, uh, 52, fourth lap 63 km per hour. So, nakapag-compute tayo kanina dun sa average speed. So, ganun din dito, no? sa average velocity, harmonic mean. So, n over 1, s sub 1, s sub 2, and so on, hanggang s sub n. So, 4 over 1 over 60, 
plus 1 over 56 plus 1 over 52 plus 1 over 63. So therefore, average velocity is 57.4485 kilometers per hour.